In this video, I'm going to show you how you can stake your assets on the Kraken platform and earn a little bit of passive income. This video is not financial advice and is intended for educational purposes only. If you're still relatively new to Kraken and you'd like to learn more about the platform, I do have a Kraken step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. Before you can stake any assets on the Kraken platform, you'll either have to deposit some crypto to Kraken from another exchange or a wallet address, or you'll have to purchase the asset that you wish to stake. And you can do that by just simply coming up here, clicking on buy crypto. Over here on the left hand side, click on the buy button. And here's where you'll find the order form where you can purchase the crypto that you wish to stake. Now, if you're still relatively new to the Kraken platform and you need assistance with how to buy crypto or how to deposit crypto onto the platform, I'll invite you to watch my Kraken step-by-step -step beginner tutorial where I cover those topics in detail. In this video, I'm simply covering how you can stake your assets and earn a little bit of passive income. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out like so. We'll close this here. And when you're ready to stake your assets, what you would do is you'd come up here and you'd click on earn. And here's where you can find all the assets that you can stake on the platform. Up at the top, you'll be able to see your staking balance across all your assets. And right here, you'll see the total rewards that are accruing over time. But a couple quick tips with staking. Usually staking works the best in a neutral to bull market. When crypto goes through bear markets, these assets can lose value very, very quickly. And typically the rewards will not outrun the amount that the asset is depreciating under bearish conditions. The second tip I could offer you is make sure to stake coins that you actually believe in, ones that you want to hold for the long term that you think are going to be worth a lot more money in the future. You'll see right here in the rewards column that some of these have different rewards, like this one down here has a 10 to 20% reward, which can be quite attractive if you believe in that project. So always do your own research and make sure it's a cryptocurrency that you believe in for the long term. Some of these might have good rewards for staking, but maybe they're not fundamentally sound and perhaps they crash really bad in the next bear market. So if you'd like to stake some assets, you'll first have to purchase them and have them on account. Then you'd come over here under action and you'd click the stake option right here. And I'll quickly demonstrate this. So let's come up here to buy crypto. Then I'm gonna come over here and click on buy. And let's go ahead and buy some Cardano. So I'll do something like this. I'll just go ahead and spend my whole balance on it. Click on review. Confirm. Now I've bought myself some Cardano. So now what we'll do is we'll come up here to earn, give that a click. Then we're going to come over here on the staking assets page. We can see Cardano right here. And we'll come over here on the right hand side and we'll click the stake button. Then we'll get a little pop-up window here where we can choose the amount of the asset that we wish to stake. And you'll be able to see your account balance of the asset right here. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. Right here, we can learn about the reward payout interval. So in Cardano's case, there's weekly rewards. The estimated reward right here would be 3 to 6% APR. And then right here, minimum to stake would be 0.000001 ADA. And the unstaking pending time is instant. So if we wish to proceed with this, the coins will be transferred from your spot account and into your staking account. So let's go ahead and do 48 Cardano. Then we click on stake. And now we've initiated the staking for Cardano. And if I come up here and quickly refresh the page like so, we can see Cardano up at the top. And right over here, we can see the staking balance and the value of that balance here. And of course, we can see the staking balance up at the top here as well. And this will factor in every coin that you're staking. Once the rewards start coming in, we'll be able to view the total awards in this column right here. If at any point you wish to unstake an asset, you'd come over here under actions and we'll click on this button right here that says unstake. Then we'll choose the amount that we wish to unstake, or we can use one of these percentage options right here. I'll just go ahead and do 100%, click on unstake, and I've successfully unstaked that Cardano. So I'll go ahead and refresh the page up at the top here like so. And as you can see, the Cardano has been transferred out of the staking account and back into my spot wallet. So we'll come up here to the Kraken logo, give it a click, and now we can see the Cardano right here back in my spot wallet. So as you can see, staking digital assets can be a good way to earn passive income, but it is typically best done on assets that you believe in for the long term and during bullish market conditions. But that's how you get that done. 
And there you have it. That's how you can stake your assets on the Kraken platform. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out some of my other Kraken tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.